the patriarchs that we look up to in the Bible, every single one of them of renown was a multi-billionaire. Someone say, ooh. Did you know that? Do you know Solomon was worth hundreds of billions, even trillions? Do you know Abraham was estimated to be worth over 200 billion U.S. dollars? Somebody did a study and found out with the land and the cattle that Genesis 12 and 13 talks about, um, and, the, and the chapters after that, that he was worth more than Bill Gates three times over. Hello. So what's our problem? But Galatians 3.13 said what? If you're Christ, then you're Abraham's seed. Hmm? Someone say, I'm Abraham's seed. Therefore, I need to have the blessings of Abraham. Say that. Therefore, I need to have the blessings of Abraham. Now, if you looked at Abraham, Abraham's life was amazing. Even when he was old, he was powerful. He had 318 personal servants trained. He had his own trained military. He had his own army. He had the ability to do something. His wife was powerful. Sarai had to be, she was so strong, she had to be touched by God to get the H of Yahweh, Jehovah, Yahweh, in the, in the end of her name instead of the letter I, which meant herself. So God is in the nature-changing business of the heart, but he also gives us power to create great things. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Who is the richest man that ever lived? Okay, I'm waiting for all the amen, amens to die down. I'll give you a hint. It starts with the, with the same letter that amen starts with. It's Adam. Why was Adam the richest man? Because he had God standing with him, and he had access to everything. Yes? Yes or yes? Okay, now I need you, brother. Now I need you because your amen is good. Now I need you. Very, very good. Adam had everything. So what happened? The devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. But what happened? In John 10, 10, Jesus said, I came that you'd have life and that more abundantly. The Lord is looking to bless people. Lift your hand and say, Lord, I must be found by you. The touch of heaven needs to come my way. It starts here. Lay your hands on your heart and say, Lord, touch me. Put your hand on your heart and say, Lord, touch me. Fill me with your presence. Fill me. Isaiah 11.2 talks about the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, counsel, might, and the fear of the Lord. Revelation 5.12 talks about uh, 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 power and riches and wisdom and strength which is the same word as might, and glory, honor, and blessing for the purpose of what? That we would take dominion as he ordained in the beginning. You have heard the message by the anointed man of God, a prophet, and a voice of this generation. Dr. Thomas Manton IV, he has written a very, very powerful book. The title is Prophetic keys to successful living. This book has changed my life tremendously. It can change yours too. To get a copy, you can call or WhatsApp 0706164191. I repeat again, to get a copy of this amazing book, call or WhatsApp zero seven zero six one six four one nine one thank you so much god bless you